All right, problem two, now we're just flexing our muscles here, okay? All we're doing is we're rewriting. We're just moving things around. Two rules. One, if it's negative, you move it. Two, if it's zero, it goes away. So follow the rules. Here we go. I like to start with a blank fraction bar. If you're positive, you stay. The 5A and the 3 stay. Positive, positive. Technically, there's a positive 1 right there, so it stays put. The B to the negative 2, sorry, you got to move down here. Done. That's it. That's all you have to do. Leave it alone. If it's negative, it moves. If it's positive, it stays. Okay. So with a blank fraction bar, you're negative down here. That means you got to move up. Okay. There's nothing left on the bottom, so you could use a 1 to fill in the space, but we all know we don't just leave 1s on the bottom of numbers. We just don't have random 1 denominators everywhere, so there you go. If it's on the bottom, you can move it up. If it's on the top, you move it down. If it's negative, it has to move. Here we go. Speed round. You are negative on top, so that means you would be positive on the bottom. All done. Hey, you're negative on the bottom. That means you would be positive up top as a regular number, okay? Ooh, four and the B are regular. I'm running out of room, so I'm gonna do it up here. Four and the B stay, because they have positive exponents that you just don't see. C to the three moves down, okay? Two, you're good, you're positive, you stay up top. You're, you don't wanna be down there, you're negative, move you up top. Done, nothing left over in the bottom, so you didn't need to write anything on the bottom. That's a nice thing. If everything vacates the bottom, you don't need to write anything. But if everything vacates the top, you have to at least put a one up there to let people know stuff goes on the bottom. Last one, let's see, you're negative. You move down, just like exactly what I was talking about. Okay, there's gonna be nothing left over on the top. M, you're already down here. And then N, you gotta move down here as well. That's it, okay? Follow those rules. If it's negative, it's got to move. If it's positive, it stays, and if it's zero, it cancels because, flip, you're going to see problems like this in your practice quiz. So at first, you're probably going to panic. Oh, no. Don't panic. You'll be fine. Follow the rules. It's positive if it stays. I'm just going to go alphabetical with it. A squared, you're staying. B cubed, you're moving down here. You're negative. C to the 5, you're staying. Okay? Top row, we got you reorganized. Bottom row, X squared, you're moving up here. Y to the 5, you're staying down here. Ooh, Z to the 0. Would you write a 1 there? You could, but you'd waste space. It's gone. You put a times 1 there, you're just kind of wasting space. Okay? You don't need that, so don't write it. If it's a 0, it just completely goes away. So the if I were to clean this up and make it look a little more pretty, A squared, C to the 5, X squared goes on top, and then a B3, Y to the 5 goes on the bottom. You will not even see problems half of this hard. So if you can understand this process, then you're going to be set in lesson 7-1.